of you that don't know me I'm Lisa Marie Oldfield I'm a makeup artist from Midlands in the UK and today we are going to be doing a video on the Beauty Bay palettes okay so I've just had a delivery of the Book of Magic and the Sunset Horizons one so we're going to be doing an eye in each and seeing what we think of these bad boys so I've had Beauty Bay palettes in the past and they, um, but they've always been the ones that they've collabed with influencers. So these are just the standard Beauty Bay palettes. So we're gonna have a look at them today. Before we start, if you haven't already subscribed, um, then if you wouldn't mind clicking the little uh, subscribe button and tapping that bell icon, it'd mean the world to me. I'm quite new to YouTube. Um, and I'm just trying to build a little a little community here. Let's get started. I put my old base face on and I have primed my eyes ready. I've not even opened these yet, so I do not know what they look like. So let's have a look at them first. I also got one of these, uh, which is their liquid crystal eyeshadow. So we'll have a little swatch of that as well. So I've just done my nails last night and everything I try to open now, I can't open. So, just getting in there with the scissors. So let's put them little specs on everything. So let's have a look. So I had to go for this colour because I absolutely love green. So let's have a little swatchy poo and see what it looks like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Love that. That is so nice. We'll see if it moves when it dries. I was hoping it is a little bit sheer. I was hoping it would be more opaque. Um, but if it dries nice, we might be able to build it up. So we'll have to see. It's McDonald's Monday in this house. And although I haven't had a McDonald's, I have had a strawberry milkshake. And I'm not even sorry. <laughs> so the book of magic is the first one we're going to open they do come well packaged that i do know so that is what the palette looks like it's got 20 colors in it oh, let's open it up so you do get your protector Ooh. and those are the colors they are so pretty, aren't they? Oh, it's this one here, Crystal, that I'm really gravitated towards. Let's have a little swatchy poo. Oh, I hope you can see that. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a duochrome, like bronze with green reflex in it. I like that. Oh, Jinx is nice too. Let's have a look at that one. Oh, I like this palette. I like it a lot. So I'm going to do one eye in this palette and I'm going to do one eye in the other one. So let's have it. So you could, you have got your neutral colours at the top. So you could do your basic neutral eye with it. But, oh, it's got a lot of, oh, Spell is a nice colour. I think we're going to have to do like a green and purple look today. So we can try some of that crystal eyeshadow as well. So the next palette is the Sunset Horizons palette. So I got these in the Black Friday sale. They started their sale early. Uh, it's come really quick. It's only took a couple of days to come. Um, and they were cheap as chips, these palettes. Seriously, I think one was £10, one was £7 from it. And the crystal eyeshadow was like £4.20. So that is the Sunset Horizons one. Again, that's 20 colours. Again, you get a little protector. And that is the colours in that palette. 
I like Flamingo, Mirage, oh, Oasis looks nice. I always gravitate towards the greens. Oh, but that is so nice. If you can see that. Oh, there's some gorgeous yellows in it. Yep, so we're gonna have a go with that one as well. So, let's get some on the eyes. So we'll start with the Book of Magic and we'll do that eye first. I think I'm gonna start off with this color, Voodoo. And then I'm gonna blend it out with a little bit of this one, which is Sorcery. There is some fallout on my face, not a lot, but a little. I'm just going to take my powder brush and just dust that away. There is a bit of fallout in the pan as well. Um, I keep having to blow it away, but for the price I paid for it, I'm not mad at it. It has got brilliant pigment. Look at the pigment in them colours. That's just one like application. I've not gone in and topped them colours up any. So, so yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I really like them two colours to start off with. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blend it out with some of the Enchanted. And, th and then I'm going to use the colour Crystal on the inner portion. And I'm going to use the colour Spell on the, the outer portion and just blend it out into Bewitched. And then maybe add a bit of Hex just to deepen that outer crease up. <laughs> said I was going to do uh, because I got a play in and I enjoyed it <laughs> so we're just going to do the lower lash line now and I think I'm going to try and just use a couple of different shades uh, just so we can use like quite a few of the shades out of the, the palette so I'll pop it on and then I'll tell you what shades I used after so I've used four of the blue shades <laughs> there is only five blue shades <laughs> out of the palette for the bottom um, so I used Elixir to blend it all down I used Cursed at one side Trick at the other side I blended it all out with Elixir and then I popped a little bit of potion just in the middle just for that little bit of sparkle um, so I'm just going to put some liner and some lashes on and I will be right back so out of the palette I've used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the 20 shades. So we've used half of the shades on the eye. So I think we've got a good feel for the palette. Um, what I am just going to do is I'm just going to take a little, a little tiny brush and I'm just going to pop some of the shade um, crystal into the inner corner. So. I love the pigment of the palette. I love the colour story. Um, there is quite a lot of fallout. Um, but you know what? If you do your eyes first before your foundation, it shouldn't matter, should it? I am just going to take another shade, actually. I'm going to take the shade Moonlight, which is the, which is the white um, shimmer. 
and I am just, I don't pick up on that brush very well. I don't pick up on that brush at all. I'm just going to take that brush that I've just used for the inner corner. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of that moonlight just under the brow bone. Because then we've used 11 shades, haven't we? So they were all quite easy to work with. I do find this shimmer formula hit and miss with Beauty Bay. It is the same as in the Mitchell. Oh no, the Mitchell were all mattes, I'm sure. I can't remember. But it's the same. It is definitely the same formula as what was in the Nikki Tutorials palette. But you get good payoff, so. So yeah, I'm happy. That is that eye done. And that is that palette. So let's move on now to the Sunset Horizons palette. So this is all your reds, your oranges and your yellows. It's so beautiful. I love the colour story of this palette too. So I thought it'd be cool if we did kind of like a sunset sort of vibe on this eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean my brushes. I'm going to take the red, well it's a ready pink called Flamingo. I think it's supposed to be pink actually. And we're going to take the orange which is called Sorbet and we're going to take uh, the yellow called Zest and we're going to build up the crease and then I'll come back and we'll figure out what we're going to do for the next bit. as nice as the other palette still okay but they don't blend together as nice I find uh, which is a shame but I'm still living for it so I've cut the crease ready so we're just gonna pop some shades on the lid now so I will do that and then I'll come back and tell you what shades that I have used <laughs> did the bottom lash line too um <coughs> let's blow the fallout off so we used flamingo i used a mixture of sorbet and reef and i used the color zest for the outer then i cut the crease and i used the shade mirage the shade burst and the shade cocktail now that shade was very ropey it was almost like a cream but it did come out nice on the eye. I then just smoked the lower, uh, the outer corner out with the shade Hibiscus. And on the bottom lash line, I've used Twilight, I've used Deep, and I've used Oasis. And I've just blended it all out with a little bit of Dusk. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put a little bit of the, that yellow in the inner corner. I'm gonna pop on a lash and some liner. And then we're going to come back and talk about uh, my final thoughts on these palettes. So yeah, from this one, we've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've used eleven shades from this one as well. Um, okay, so I'm back, and this is the finished look. So I just popped a little bit of yellow around the top of the cut crease, 
and I did yellow inside the waterline. I've just added a lash. I did purple on this waterline. Just like it to have, you know, a bit of like, poof. Um, so what do I think? What do I think of the finished look? Okay, so the inner corner colour here, I'm not loving. It looks a lot different in the palette. But it is what it is. We've done it now. So we're just going to stand by his decision. I love the green. I love the green. This green, because we used a bit of this green on there as well. I love that colour. That's awesome. It dries down really nice. Um, as you can see, I've got my hand up and using it as a palette. It doesn't go nowhere. So happy with that. Um, yeah, this colour looked a lot nicer on my hand than it does actually on the inner corner of my eye. So, um, um, a bit, I like that colour, but maybe it would have been better somewhere else on my face, not there. Um, so, I'll, um, I think I like the Book of Magic palette better, although there was a lot less fallout onto my face from the Sunset palette. Um, but I just prefer the colour story in the Book of Magic palette. I do like all these shimmers all blended together all nice. I just think they just look, give it just a nice sunset vibe. Uh, but the the mattes didn't blend together quite as nice as what they did from the Magic palette. Um, but yeah, I, I'll use both of them again. I like them both a lot. Uh, they are by far not the worst palettes I've ever used. They're not the best either, but they're not the worst. Uh, the pigment is insane. It's just the fallout that's a problem for me. <laughs> but yeah I'm quite happy so let me know which side is your favourite in the comments do you like the Book of Magic side or do you like the Sunset Horizon side best um, and that is today's video complete so thank you very much for joining me I hope that you have uh, enjoyed this video and I hope that you have uh, found some value in it Um Seriously though, both of these palettes are serious bargains in the Beauty Bay um, sale. So go bag them while you can because they are not too shabby for the price. Book of Magic was £10.50. The Sunset Horizon was £7.50. And the Liquid Crystal uh, Eyeshadow was £4.20. So that's just cheap as chips in it. For £22 I've got. 40 shades of eyeshadow and a liquid eyeshadow that's insane value go get them while they're still in stock seriously i think you'll regret it if you don't okay so thank you for joining me uh, if you've got this far then i thank you so much for watching sticking with me and uh, sticking around to see the finished look if you would consider subscribing that would be amazing um you can follow me on my socials uh, which are somewhere on the screen right now and yes I will see you in the next one bye